hi, what's up guys? So I'm doing an icy blue look for you today. So if you like this look, it's like a purple, pink, blue eyeshadow with a nude lip and some cream contour. Stay tuned and watch because I know you want to. So yeah, this is the look. If you like it, go ahead and continue to watch. Happy February. How's everybody's like a month going so far? Today's the first, uh, or at least when I'm telling this, LOL. I hope this month is going well. It's, I live in the US and we are starting to see some vaccines get rolled out, which is so exciting. My grandparents are vaccinated. That was their first shot, which is so amazing. So I'm very thankful, very grateful for that. Definitely a huge stress relief. And yeah. Also, I don't know if you guys need new shows to watch or if you're interested, but I've been binging. Um, I believe it's called... Oh my god, it's... Okay, it's about spies, like real spies, um, between US, China, and Russia. And it is crazy. Like during the Cold War between like America and Russia, the stuff these like spies used to do is insane. Like, you know when you're a little kid and you dream about becoming like a spy? Well, not only could I never, it sounds super crazy scary, but it's just like wild. But some of the like gizmos and gadgets that you, you think about when you're young is exactly what they use. Like this guy, from, I think it was from Russia, poisoned a US spy with an umbrella tip. Like, there was a shot of poison in like the tip of like a big umbrella. It's really wild. And he like shoved it in his knee and that's how this man died. It's like randomly in the middle of the sidewalk. So super crazy. If you're interested in that kind of stuff and just how all of that works, it's just really wild. So. I don't know. I've, I've enjoyed watching it because I'm not a huge history buff, but this is definitely, I mean, I think, but I think using device technology and mixing that with history and stuff that obviously like you know about and you know happened and was a really hard time and I don't know, it's just kind of wild, the stuff people used to do. And if you've seen The Imitation Game, which is also about, that's about World War II and intercepting I believe the like, a message that was secretly sent or something. If you're interested in any of that stuff, that's, it's kind of like along those lines of information and history and it's just like really crazy. So yeah, so very crazy. Oh my gosh, also I have a good cream contour. So I'm trying a light shade in the Maybelline Fit Me contour, which I just bought at Walgreens for, I think it was like seven bucks. Um, and this is shade 11 vanilla. And I am using this for my bronze, my contour. And this is in the shade coffee. So I'm gonna give this a try. I've also seen other people use it where if you use this in small amounts, it creates more natural tone because this color, if you guys can see, isn't very, it's almost like a tan color of concealer and it's just not cute. Like I always feel like it looks like I just got a spray tan on certain parts of my face and I'd rather have more dark warm tones that aren't yellowy. So this color I thought would be a really good substitute. Apply it if you really want it. And like this to draw the smallest amount. I know this looks really dark, so we're gonna see how it works. I mean, if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna come back on and be like, y'all don't do that, that was stupid. <laughs> also, okay, what is everybody doing post-COVID? I have saved so many places to my Airbnb, and one of them, I'm very excited, is this alpaca and llama Airbnbs in Atlanta, Georgia. I kid you not, I was dead dead when I heard about it and I thought that was so funny. Like, like I've literally never ever ever heard of these. I'm actually gonna put a little dart here because I don't want it to be too strong. Okay. There we go. I live in Georgia of all places. 
seems low-key super random. Oh, would you look at that? How beautiful. Honestly, so happy with that. That was really easy too. I was really worried this color was way too dark and I can honestly put a little bit more on this side right here, but I love that color. That's really nice. But yeah, I was like, oof. That is so crazy. Okay, my nose, I gotta get a smaller brush because this is like, otherwise it's just gonna be like a whole, a whole mess. I guess I'm gonna stay in an Airbnb and hang out with some llamas, hang out with some alpacas, you know? So I was really excited to see that. I'm excited eventually to leave and go run around and, you know, just go do everything we've been wanting to do for the past year. They just gave myself a mustache. We are gonna put some stickers just so I don't have a mustache. Tell me where you guys are going. Tell me if you have any place to save or anything. Now that my face is done, it has its foundation on, and I start going with the color. First things first, going with your light color. I am again using the James Charles palette and I am using, basically, my plan is to use these four blues. So right now I'm gonna start off with this one in a really light coat on my brush. And I'm gonna take the darker blue and I'm going to make like an angled shape up. So I'm just gonna go. Cause essentially what you're doing is you're like mimicking where your lashes are tallest. So what we're gonna do later is, so I know this looks really crazy on this, these sides, but if you want like a cut crease look, as in like, not the crease part, sorry, but the angle. I'm just gonna take concealer and just wipe that down, basically. Take that angle, and when you do a cut crease, it's the same thing, it's just concealer. You literally just pop on concealer onto your lid after you do the color that you want it to line, essentially, and then you just go in really carefully and you like pat it down, and that's all cut creases. I used to think cut creases were like some crazy thing that I would never figure out how to do, and it's just not true. It's just not true. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this shimmery. I'll show you guys. I'm gonna go in with this shimmery guy right here the, at the tear duct area, corner of my eye. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Would you look at that? She is so cute. I wanna go out. And I, do you, you guys know me? You know me a little, a little anyways. I love blue and brown. So like eye brown eyes, I will do blue, a full blue eye makeup lid because I think they look so good together. And if you have blue eyes, it'll make your eyes pop like crazy. And if you have green eyes, don't worry about it, just do it in green. <laughs> That's what I would do. I mean, you could do it in blue. I'm sure it'd be really pretty too, but. I would probably, probably do it in green. Now. <laughs> okay, it looks way different on camera. Oh, funny, okay. Now I'm gonna clean up with a concealer brush. Here we go. Oh, and we just cut that angle. So now we're gonna go in with my brow pomade. All of my products, except for the James Charles palette, are pretty much just drugstore, so. And I think it was worth it to buy something that was a bit more expensive for my eyeshadow pigment, especially because I love books um, that are like way more colorful and stuff because if you buy cheap pigment, it's not gonna wear well and usually it doesn't really come out as strong as it looks. So I, I remember buying it for around 45 and I used Afterpay. So honestly, not all that bad. Going for a thinner brow because I think there's something kind of beautiful about something that's a bit more delicate. I go in with my liquid eyeliner. 
I'm doing it's a thin line, then I'm gonna go over it with my magnetic liner and my eyelashes, which I've already shown you guys, so you already know what to do. I may be crazy, but I cut off the first two because that's where my eyelash is biggest, and you know, once you put on, so you put on mascara and then you do your lashes. Look at it go. I don't know why, but I had this sudden urge to just belt out the Rosen song, Let It Go, because this is just such an icy blue look, you know? It's honestly, it's the perfect winter look, okay? Let's be real. Oh, I also love a nude lip. The brown nude is never a bad idea. I just don't think it is. Like, you can wear it out, you can wear it during the day, whatever. So, I got this for Christmas a while ago, but I have the Kylie Jenner um, lipstick in the shade Babe. So that's what I'll be using for my base coat. And then I'm using the Maybelline Color and Color Sensational in Totally Top Toffee. So that's my shade I'm using. And I'm just gonna line my lips after because I want to almost like shade in my lips as well. Because we'll see. And I don't know, I don't overline anymore. Woo! Still a little bit wet. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm like. So, I've always known this about myself because I went to art school, but I have a really heavy hand actually. And I almost just took this out because I'm a little aggressive when it comes to it comes to drawing, and I don't know why, but hey, it's just what I do. Okay. And so all I need is some lip gloss. This is just some cheap clear lip gloss because I have it. Hi guys. So this is my icy blue going out look. Um, so, if you like this look, let me know in the comments below. If you're not feeling it, that's cool too. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out and I hope you guys are too. So, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be posting videos every Friday. So yeah, thanks for coming to my channel. It's been a pleasure. I hope you guys have the best February. This is, it, it's a new year. Let's get going. Good vibes, you know? So I hope you guys are doing well. And yeah, I'll see you next time. All right, bye.